Uh, Mindy Hassan, uh, isn't the Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare, a failure? Uh, expenses associated with um, uh, health care continue to rise and rise greatly. Uh, insurers are withdrawing from the exchanges around the country because only the sickest people, uh, least healthy people, are signing up, and as a result, uh, they lose money on the, uh, uh, on the insurance that they cover. Uh, hasn't this been a failure? And what would you, as a U.S. Senator, want to, s want to see change, or would you uh, support the repeal of Obamacare? Well, I think it goes without saying that access to quality health care is critical to everyone's capacity, uh, not only to function, but to enjoy the freedoms and the high quality of life and to contribute uh, in the United States. And as many people here probably know, uh, my husband Tom and I are very aware of uh, both the strengths and the flaws with our current health care system. Our 28-year-old son, Ben, lives with us. At various times, Ben has had as many as nine doctors and 19 medications, right? So a lot to juggle, um, a lot of home nursing and other things. So it's absolutely critical uh, that we address the flaws that the Affordable Care Act certainly does have, but build on the progress it has allowed us to make. We don't want to go back to a time where people with pre-existing conditions couldn't buy health insurance or where young people couldn't stay on their parents' health insurance uh, into their early adulthood as the Affordable Care Act uh, provides. One of the reasons we have our bipartisan Medicaid expansion program, something that now provides coverage to over 50,000 hardworking Granite Staters to 500 people in Conway and North Conway, is because of the Affordable Care Act. We should be doing more uh, to allow generic drugs to get to market sooner. That would help us lower costs, and we have to do, we have to repeal the medical device tax and the Cadillac tax, uh, and also um, work to reward quality and not quantity in medicine. We have uh, certain issues to address, and the last thing I'll say, I know my time is up, uh, is that New Hampshire's exchange now has four insurers on it, as opposed to the one when this started, in large part because of the way we designed our bipartisan Medicaid expansion program. So yes, we have work to do, but going backwards to the way it was before the Affordable Care Act existed isn't the solution. Um, Kelly, you have 90 seconds, but isn't the uh, Affordable